Yeah, we have three articles for charter changes uh, up for consideration at town meeting. I'll, I'll start with Article 8. Um, so this applies to a practice of self-governance to allow the town to make some decisions related to its charter without approval at the state level. So a brief history lesson. Vermont is a Dillon's Rule state, meaning municipalities are creatures of the state of Vermont and as such must have permission from the state to define governing terms and a charter. John Dillon was an Iowa judge. Uh, he's the namesake of Dillon's Rule stemming from his 1868 decision that determined the bounds of a local government's legal authority. For folks interested in learning more about Dillon's Rule and Home Rule, it's an interesting Google search if they're looking for something to do mm -hmm. some night. Um, so currently, a charter change approved by a municipality in Vermont has to then be approved by the legislature to become law. As such, the legislature can modify or strike charter changes that were approved at the local level. So what we're looking to do in this proposal, it's in section two of our charter, it's, it's on the screen here, the exact language. Um, it would allow any charter provision approved for any other municipality to be adopted by a majority of Wilson's voters as a provision in the town's charter without the need to obtain approval from the Vermont legislature. Mm. So thinking behind this, if one municipality is able to do something under charter, that any other municipality should be granted the same authority if it is the will of the people of that municipality. Hmm. So that's the concept we're getting at here to um, see if the voters are supportive of that measure, and then it would go to the legislature for, for their consideration at that point. Right. It'll be interesting to see how the legislature reacts to that if, if it gets to that point. I was going to ask if the legislator agreed or not. That's good. <laughs> we'll see. If we get there, it'll be an interesting discussion in the House Government Operations Committee, I'm sure. Okay.